Good morning, you guys. Happy Wednesday. Hope your week is going great. So far, we have made it halfway through another week. It is crazy um, that it is already uh, a full week into June. Um, just blows my mind. So, uh, the summer is flying by. So, that means that camp will be here before you know it. That means that school will be here before you know it. Uh, that means... 2023 will be here before you know it. It's just, it's crazy how fast the days go. So, it's just unreal. Let's dive right in. Today's title is Crowd Control. Our verse, verses, says, But with loud shouts they insistently demanded that he be crucified, and their shouts prevailed. So Pilate decided to grant their demand, he released the man who had been thrown into prison for insurrection and murder, the one they asked for, and surrendered Jesus to their will. That's Luke 23, verses 23 through 25. Says Pontius Pilate was the big cheese in Judea. He reported directly to the emperor in Rome. Pilate made all the decisions about prisoners, crimes, and laws in Judea. The Jews brought Jesus to Pilate, hoping that Pilate would kill Jesus. But Pilate was a smart man. He investigated Jesus and found nothing wrong. The Jews still wanted Jesus dead, and they did not give up. They pressured Pilate for so long that he finally gave in. Pilate let them kill Jesus. Pilate's situation was extreme, but pressure from a crowd known as peer pressure is hard for anyone to resist. Even fearsome leaders can cave in to a crazy crowd of demanding people. As you get older, you'll face peer pressure. In fact, you probably already have. Like when several kids gang up on someone else and push you to join in. When you're the only one saying no, it will be tough. But if you stick to your beliefs about right and wrong you may give someone else the courage to say hang on I lost my spot sorry guys stick your beliefs you may give someone else the courage to say no to plus that kind of strength comes from God he'll help you resist peer pressure so peer pressure you know I I have always been one that for the most part is like whatever um you know i'll be the odd one out and i don't really care but there's been times where it hasn't been that easy for me um you know where people say something or people do something and you want to be in there with them they they want you to be in there with them and so they try and encourage you um, to be there. They try and pressure you into situations. It happens. Um, I mean, we live in a sinful world, so that's going to happen. Um, but sometimes it hits harder than others. But whenever we stand strong and we say, no, I'm not going to do that, then that shows other people that it's possible right you know i tell my kids that all the time um i'm i'm like you know you guys especially teaching stuff in eighth grade i'm like you guys are the leaders of this school the little kids are looking up to you um and they are trying they're, they're seeing how you react to things stop chewing on my foot stop chewing on my foot um they're seeing how you react to things how you behave and there's a positive peer pressure and a negative peer pressure i encourage them to always be the positive peer pressure to encourage them i encourage them to look for ways to help people to look for ways to um encourage others to be a positive influence to be the positive peer pressure in the school because that's how it is in life. There's a 
negative peer pressure and there's a positive peer pressure. You have to decide which one of those you're going to display and which one of those you're going to choose to um, share to other people. So it's... It's up to us. Do we choose the negative peer pressure or do we choose the positive peer pressure? Pressure Jesus, I want to get pulled into doing the I don't want to get pulled into doing the wrong thing or hurting others because of peer pressure. Help me see when I need to walk away or stand up for what's right. Standing up for what's right can be so hard sometimes. But here's the deal. It might be hard at the moment. But in the long run, it will be absolutely worth it. So take the pain for a little bit and then enjoy what is going to come from doing the right thing. Because it will be absolutely worth it. Everyone have a great Wednesday. Have a great second half of the week. And of course, go be the example.